Hello there guys, Coaster Child here, Donkster Bone, Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to a massive debate video. This is leading up to the 2021 York Maze Hello Scream. Uh, now this is a debate uh, and a discussion and a prediction video to sort of predict what I think could be changed or added for the 2021 events. We're going to go through the entire event history like we did last year. I can't believe that was last year. Um, with the... Um, What'd you call? Oh, what'd you call it? Um, oh, can't remember it now. Uh, but no, the uh, 2019 event, that's the one. We did the predictions on the 2019 event. And uh, it'd be very interesting to see what my predictions are for this one. We're going to go through the event history that like we did in the last video and uh, share my thoughts. So before we get started, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Cut the location bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Go in the description down below. You can check out the York Maze Hell Scream website if you want to have a look, uh, a sneak peek at what was there uh, the previous year uh, when it operated, obviously, because obviously 2020 delayed by COVID and cancelled by COVID. Um, you can also check the description for social media links, submitting your video ideas through Google Forms. Uh, and all that all that jazz hashtag Chicago and for now guys let's have a look at the history of York Maze Howler Scream from 2010 right up until 2019 so in 2010 the inaugural event as of uh, recorded uh, appointment with the Undertakers Barnageddon the Carnival and Curse of the Corn were the mazes at this event 2011 brought us Barnageddon and the Carnival and the Curse of the Corn, but appointment with the Undertakers was replaced with See No Evil. In 2012, Barnageddon and the Carnival were, were in, but the outbreak and the sim but outbreak and the symmetry came into the event for 2012. Now, Outbreak and Symmetry did not last long, as did, obviously, See No Evil for a year. Uh, so, Outbreak and Symmetry did only last for a year, and as well as Barnageddon, um, they also brought in the Freak Show, they brought in the Seance, they brought in Difference Engine and the Reincarnation. So, you know, Reincarnation and Difference Engine were mazes that I did myself, and I was a huge fan of them. And, uh, yeah, very good mazes indeed. In 2014, they brought in 1873 to replace the Seance, and then 2015 came about, and we had the same lineup, the only year so far with the same lineup. So it'd be very interesting to see if that pattern does continue. In 2016, they brought in the Flash Parts uh, to replace the Freak Show, and in 2017, they brought in 2073 to replace 1873, as well as Barnageddon, the Difference Engine, the Flash Part, and Reincarnation returning. Barnageddon had a new 3D aspect for the 2018 season, with Barnageddon 3D joining the lineup. And for 2019, they brought in Corny's Cornival to replace Reincarnation and the Singularity to replace the um, Difference Engine for 2019, along with the return of the Flesh Part, Barnageddon 3D, and 2073. And of course, in 2020, they had to cancel the event due to the dreaded sea where we now know as COVID or coronavirus, however you like to prefer it. But it's a very interesting history before 2020 and I'd be very interested to see what we could uh, see with this but now it's time to share my predictions on what I think could be the changes for the event in 2021. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is the event history and uh, now it's prediction time. So I've got a couple of routes to go down here, I've got three different routes, I, I have two written down but I've thought of a third one, it should be very interesting to debate and anyone that works at York Maze Hell of Scream or was an actor there in previous years or someone who knows the event, you know, get them to comment down below this video and tell me about one of the routes, which I'll start with actually just to make it an urgent point uh, and I'll go about the other two uh, afterwards. What about the possibility of a sixth Maze. Now we've got Corny's Corn Evil, we've got the Singularity, we've got the Flesh Pot, we've got Barnagan 3D, we've got 273. That's five mazes. What if they add the sixth to really, you know, a sixth maze wouldn't be a bad idea because it would stretch out the crowds, which means there's more social distancing with the restrictions in place uh, from a COVID point of view as of recording this. COVID-19 is still in the world. Um, but there's more social distancing, which means there's a, a spread out of the crowds, which is, you know, it's better for distancing. And, you know, if you keep the restrictions in place in the queue lines, etc., and the mass on the actors, etc., then it will be a more outspread event, which is great for crowds. Um... It's just a case of where would a sixth maze go? Where would you put a sixth themed maze? Is there an opportunity to put a sixth themed uh, maze? Maybe where, and I've seen this in the past couple of years that I was there, where the the waltzer is. Um, 
you know, is there room to put like a maze sort of around that area and stretching out from that back area? Or could you expand the building perhaps and do like a second maze somewhere, like an outside maze? You look at Blair Witch at Thorpe Park, you look at what they did with that. And, um, you know, that was a very, I think from what I tell with that, it was very, they took advantage of the outside aspects of it. They had indoor aspects, obviously. Uh, when we look at Blair Witch, we had the, the outside campfire. And there's no reason why you couldn't have an outside scare maze that could work in the day and the night. Uh, just something like that would work very, very well. Or if you got to do it fully indoors, then I'm sure there maybe is enough room uh, where the waltz a bit is. Or maybe there's room sort of somewhere else on the site, but very, very close to the original tent. Uh, if it's not possible to do a sixth maze, then comment down below. But I think a sixth maze would really do, especially with, like I said, distancing with the crowds. It would make it more outspread, which means there's less crowds in certain mazes, which makes it, you know, better safe-wise. Um, now the second route I've gone down is of course the patterns of older mazes going out so obviously I spoke about in last year's video or so the previous year I guess um, about the difference engine and um, reincarnation I spoke about those ones that I predicted would go because they were the oldest mazes that were open back in 2013 and the rest of them were quite were more newer so the next oldest maze then is the flash part and that's going to be and this year will be the fifth anniversary of the flash part I've done it for the past two years apart from obviously 2020 I've done it for the past two two out of three years and it's a very you know it's a, it's a nice maze and I think with more horror aspects it could be you know even better so maybe not remove it, but maybe they could do some similar changes to it. Look at what they did with Reincarnation. They didn't fully get rid of it. They just expanded it a bit more and just advanced the story a bit and renamed it to Corny's Corn Evil. So maybe like a 75% refurbishment of Flesh Part wouldn't really get rid of the maze, but it would rather enhance the experience and extend the storyline of the maze. Uh, which wouldn't be a bad route to go down. Uh, now the third route, which in my opinion, on paper, you might say, oh, it's boring, that, this, that, and the other. But, in my opinion, I think from a financial standpoint, it could be a very safe route this year. And it's what they've done, um, you know, in the past with the, with the 2014 event and then the same event in 2015. And that is no new mazes and just, the, and just enhance the overall experience of the, of the whole event. Uh, and just make some little theming changes here and there around the event and maybe enhance the pre-show element a bit but nothing real no new maze aspects just like some extra stuff added to it so no we're not talking new mazes here as the third route we're talking like enhanced theming um enhanced storytelling maybe change a bit of theming here and there change some lighting here and there maybe enhance a couple of scenes in the different mazes no massive you know overhauls like Corny's Corneval was from Reincarnation or what I think could be done to Flesh Part if they go down that route for new mazes. Just, 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 you know, general maintenance and overall just a tad little touch here and there on a few of them. Um, but no new mazes. Because I think from a financial standpoint, it would be very realistic to say there'd be no new mazes this year. Um, but I, I personally, I wouldn't mind that. I really wouldn't mind that. But personally, I would also love to see them go down a sixth maze or I'd like to see them, um, you know, enhance Flash Pot by about 75% or do a complete new maze to replace it, maybe with a similar theme but a completely new story. Uh, or maybe they do both. Maybe they do both the Flash Pot overhaul or replacement and they do a sixth maze as well. I mean, we don't know that for sure. There's two routes that could go down from a COVID standpoint or from a financial standpoint. They go down the route where they, they bring in one or two new mazes and they enhance the whole thing. Or they go down no new mazes and just enhance the overall experience and the old overall entertainment factor of it. So, and I wouldn't mind either route to be fair because I think a safe bet would have been, you know, no new mazes. Um from a big standpoint to go out big and say hey let's bring the crowds back with one or two new mazes they go down that route so it's a very interesting discussion obviously more will, 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 will be known about this event you know as in the next couple of months few months as we get towards the summer a bit more and uh, it will be interesting to see what happens but there we go guys thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is coach shell keep living the coast of life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day